Hello students, today we're going to be talking about singing, chanting, and motions. Oh my! Singing and chanting and motions. Oh my! Singing and chanting and motions. Oh my! Singing, chanting, and motions are three different study strategies that can help you learn information and process it in a way that you will remember. Um, why? Well, just think about it. If a person is talking and talking and talking, you can fall asleep. But if you are singing and chanting and moving around, you will keep awake. So singing, chanting, and motion is strategies that keep you awake. They are also pretty fun. They allow you to engage in the information in a different way and, and just make it more fun for the whole class to, to um, sing along. And third, and most important, they help you remember information. When you sing it, when you chant it, when you move to it, you are activating different parts of your brain. Let's look at the science. According to Karen Taylor of English Learning in Training Solutions, the language center, this red part right here, is where your brain processes information about language. And as you grow older, it locks up. And so it becomes a lot harder to learn a language as an adult than it does as a child. However, if you add other access points to your brain and other ways of learning, then you are, uh, you are allowing yourself to open yourself up and receive information and specifically language information in multiple ways. So, if here's the uh, language center and you put the language to music, you're opening up a second part of your brain. If you move with the information in, in the language, you are opening up a third part of your brain. That's called kinesthetic learning, when you use your hands to process things or your body. And finally, if you add color and images, you're opening up a fourth part of your brain. So all of these can work together to help you remember the language as well as the information that you're going to learn on the citizenship exam. So just think about it. Which way are you going to remember something better? If a teacher tells you once, the 50 stars on the flag represent 50 states, or if you say it multiple times, 50 stars, 50 states, hey, 50 stars, 50 states, hey, 50 stars, 50 states, hey. It has a whole different feel to it. So this is why we like to sing, chant, and move. Have a good day.